So until this point, until this point, uh, if I'm like uh, zooming out, I, I assume that age was a constant, uh, a complex uh, number, and was of course was a complex number zero one uh, random variable. And now I want to make an additional assumption that is, I think, very unnatural, and I want to assume that age itself is complex normal zero one. And this guy would be, of course, independent of the noise. But the, case, the question is why? You know, assuming that the noise is, is the complex normal, assuming that the noise is Gaussian, this makes a lot of sense, yeah? But now I want to further assume that H itself is complex normal. Why would this make sense? And the answer for this is, is multipath. And multipath is going to play a very uh, a major role in, uh, in our course. So let's understand why the physics of multipath actually create the complex normal assumption for the channel itself, H. Let's take a look. This, is a, uh, this guy, I think, is, a, is a very important. So I'm assuming, uh, I'm assuming a rich uh, multipath. So actually, my impulse response would be reflections with uh, strength uh, beta i and delays tau i. This would, uh, would be the delays. So if I'm, this would be my, my impulse response. So if I'm interested in the, in the frequency response or the transfer function, of course this guy would be uh, the Fourier transform of the impulse response. So uh, each one of these deltas would actually freeze the exponential at uh, the place where the delta is uh, approaching zero. So age at carrier Fc would simply be sum, beta i, very similar to the impulse response, but now each delta translates into a rotating exponential, e to the minus j 2 pi Fc tau i. Okay, okay. So now I want to uh, like portray for you some physical scenario. Let's assume that the delays of uh, this, uh, uh, this multipath, the, the fact that actually the signal propagates through multiple uh, paths, are uniform over an interval that is much larger than one over Fc. Again, uh, from a slightly different uh, point of view, if we assume that the actual, uh, uh, the length of the path is uniform, in an interval that is much larger than lambda, yeah, the wavelength of uh, that associated with the carrier uh, frequency, actually we reach uh, the same thing. So consider a situation where, for example, the path length is uniform over, let's say, from 50 meters to 100 meter. Actually, these are the parameters that you you will see in the in the exercise for this lecture. And I'm considering carrier frequency of, uh, uh, let's say, five gigahertz. So well, let's write it down. Let's say that di are uh, uniform from uh, 50 meters to 100 meter. The length of the path. And let's say that I'm working at uh, 5 gigahertz. So that lambda, the wavelength, is actually 6 centimeter. So I think you can agree with me that if the path length is uniform, over 50 meters, yeah, uh, like uh, uh, interval, and lambda is only six centimeters, then essentially this guy, this guy, the phase can be uniform, can be assumed very easily uniform uh, uh, zero to pi, because the interval on which the length is uh, uh, uniform is much larger than the, than the uh, wavelength that we're considering. So the transfer function evaluated at Fc would be some beta i, these guys are our, our uh, strength, and these guys, phi i, I assume are uniform 0 to pi and iid. Okay, makes sense. Let's say for this uh, situation where the path length is uniform over a large, a relatively large uh, uh, 
uh, interval makes a lot of sense. So the real part of uh, HFC would be some beta i, and the real part of uh, the exponential would be cosine phi i. The imaginary part of HFC would be minus, because imaginary part of e to the minus j phi i is minus sine uh, uh, phi i. So minus some i, beta i, sine, sine phi i. Excellent. And now to the key observation, to the key point, maybe the basis, the engine of everything. If we assume that we are in rich multipath, meaning that there are a lot of, of uh, reflections, so the CLT, the central limit theorem, says that the real part of HFC would tend to be normal with zero mean, because the mean of each guy here is a, a zero, and some variance sigma square. In our case, sigma square would simply be half of the uh, sum of uh, beta i uh, square. The same way, using the same consideration, again, this is like the key to everything. Using the same consideration, the imaginary part of uh, H valued on FC would also be, would tend to be normal with uh, zero and uh, sigma square. So each one of my components is now normal zero sigma square. In order to, uh, uh, to make sure that uh, uh, we have like a complex normal random variable for uh, HFC, we need to uh, prove another thing, and the other thing is that these guys are, are independent. But of course, if I'm taking a look at the expectation, if I'm taking a look at the expectation of uh, real HFC, yeah, multiplied by in HFC, Due to the fact that my phi i's are, uh, are uh, iid, so all the cross terms uh, would uh, uh, immediately be annihilated, and taking also into consideration that the integral over 0 to pi of sine 2 theta is 0, then essentially what I have that this guy is 0. So again, to summarize, the real part of HFC, the transfer function evaluated on the carrier frequency FC, is normal zero sigma square. The imaginary part is normal zero sigma square, and these guys are uncorrelated, so Gaussian and uncorrelated IID. So this means actually that HFC itself is complex normal zero two sigma square. Again, to wrap this, this thing up, again, very, very important, the physical interpretation or the physical reasoning for the assumption that the channel itself is complex normal is multipath. So I assume multipath, and again, the engine of my proof is the central limit theorem, the CLT, I assume multipath, then the transfer function itself tends to be complex normal, uh, zero or two sigma square, or uh, I, of course I can normalize to complex normal uh, zero one, and then play with the intensity of the noise to have the average SNR uh, uh, that I want. Very, very important point. Very, very important point. Okay.